Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a new installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that, well, came out this week in EDM. We've got 22 of them, uh, and for those of you wondering, I'm in the middle of a kind of sort of a set transition up to this point, so uh, this is not the usual look that we normally go with, and next week it'll probably look different again. Uh, but uh, let's hop into the week. Uh, no songs in trash, I don't think, and again, you can always find all these songs on Spotify and the playlist link below. But uh, yeah, our, in my opinion, my least favorite song of the week is the uh, company remix of Riot by Sullivan King and Kaiwachi. I thought the first half was slightly better than the original, but the second half time drop was just much worse, in my opinion. Uh, really not my jam, this kind of mechanized screaming dubstep. Um, I just thought it was too jagged and too loud for the just the sake of being loud and didn't really appreciate it. They've got Link and Must Die with Got That. Uh, this track feels like like soft uh, style, I think is the best way to put it. Um, it's got all the workings of a hard-hitting hard style tune, but the classic hard style hits, like the boom, 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 are just like they feel muted. And I just didn't really find an appreciation for this track that much. So that's that. Now we've got Kirby with Fuck It Up. Um, pretty unimpactful synth hit on the melody and flat mixing all throughout as well. Um, was just not jammed into this one as much as I have loved some other Kirby tracks up to this point. So, uh, But that is it for bad as we move into the meh category songs that I thought uh, were, were meh. Uh, we've got, surprisingly in this category, we've actually got Marshmallow featuring Anula AA with Alcohol. Uh, the Sugar Poppy uh, LP album from uh, Marshmallow is out now. And this track in particular, Alcohol, I thought was just a very mid-passable reggaeton beat. Um, uh, yeah, beat of a track. I just, I don't think it's horrible. I don't think it's great. I'm intrigued to see what I think of the rest of the uh, album at this point. But uh, yeah. They've got Whipped Cream with Lost My Way. Uh, Whipped Cream's got another kind of wall of soundtrack with some solid backing beats here, but uh, is nothing more than kind of a constant presence, that wall of sound, and doesn't really add a whole ton to the track as much as she has in other ones, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, I really do think Whipped Cream excels a lot more when it's kind of got the big crashing drops and building choruses, and this is just uh, not that for me, so... Uh, then we've got Oh No Shake, the Black Dress Enema remix. Uh, this is kind of just a standard Enema dark progressive house tune on top of a popular alternative R&B track. Um, not a whole lot going on, but I know some people are going to be drooling over this because they love Enema. So that's that. Then we've got Devault with Rinse It, a uh, kind of odd pseudo bass room house track with this one. A uh, very simple structure with a constant kind of vocal sustain throughout the whole track. Uh, could very much be a, a club banger for sure. And in that setting, I think I would enjoy this track a lot more than I did. Then we've got Morte and Inhuman with Eldritch. Uh, a lot and a little going on on this track all at once, I find. Um, didn't really love the vocals. They don't really make a whole ton of sense to me. Uh, but in terms of the production, I actually didn't really mind the very intentionally empty uh, and slow dubstep hits. Um, ultimately, this one's not really my style or my jam, but I can see how others would uh, really appreciate this one. So that is that. And then we've got Fowler and Mike Bello with Take It Higher. Uh, fairly standard mid-tempo track here. It's got some solid bass growls and hard-hitting melodies, uh, but was kind of just your average mid-tempo for me, and uh, that's how I felt about that. They've got Mango and Cloud Cage with Reach Out, uh, another kind of simple melodic house track uh, collab from these two. Uh, yeah, very dreamy production and uplifting vocals. Uh, just wasn't too much my jam this time around. Uh, I thought it was very same-samey compared to some of the other collabs that the two of them have done. Uh, then we got What's So Not and Dactyl with Fever. Uh, really liked uh, the tone of this track with a bright synth melody uh, backed by a kind of standard drum and bass uh, beat, but uh, didn't really feel like the song went anywhere. I thought it kind of had good potential, but in the end it was kind of just an average, more simple song in the end, and I thought it was going to uh, maybe explore the tone of the track a little bit more than uh, it did. So... And next we got Soup Andreas with Face Off. Uh, this is literally a The Midnight track. Uh, if you blindly played this to 100 people that knew who The Midnight was, uh, 99 of them would say that this is The Midnight. Um, the vocals are super similar uh, to the main lead. I can't remember his name is escaping me at this point, but the vocalist for The Midnight. And uh, yeah, just kind of got that classic 80s synth wave vibe to it. And uh, it's a okay track for me personally, so... As uh, next track we've got is Cyclops with Tear Jerker. Uh, the Tear Jerker EP is also coming out this week, just dropping the single and the EP week after another. But uh, this was a fairly unique track uh, for sure. Uh, Got to be one of the most higher registered melodies I've heard this year up to this point, uh, and to the point where it's it's really practically like squeaking that synth out. And um, but yeah, other than that, it's got some crunchy kind of rhythm bass lines. Um, I thought it was unique. I thought it worked in yeah. I thought the style of the track worked well in its favor, and I'm intrigued to see what the rest of 
of that uh, EP is going to sound like. So we move into the good category songs that I thought were good from this past week. We've got Pendulum and uh, Scaredle, I want to say, with Mercy Killing. The Enema EP is out now from Pendulum, and uh, despite not loving the kind of screaming vocals, uh, I thought it was a pretty solid Pendulum tune. And um, yeah, I, I generally don't love the kind of screaming vocals, but this one, I think, actually just didn't really work for the track. I think Rob Swire's vocals and his performance is already giving that sort of sound and tone to the track, and I don't think it needed the extra screaming on top of it. Um, yeah, more Pendulum. I, I think it's good. Uh, not crazy good, and I don't think it's their best, but I think it's uh, solid. Then we've got Exod and Nitrix with Edge of Letting Go. The Collide EP is out now from Exod, and um, you know, I'm not sure if I just haven't heard a ton of Exod in the past, but this just feels like a Nitrix song through and through, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, all things considered, it is uh, one of the better, more niche-sounding mellow dub tracks out there, similar to that you'd get of a, like a, a Nitrix or an AU5. But um, yeah, interesting sound design and production elements, and I enjoyed this track in particular. I've got Ramesses B with New Meaning. Uh, this track is like a fusion between Fong and DNB, and I thought it wasn't too bad. Uh, there's an odd vocal sample used uh, throughout that was just a little bit too off-putting for me personally. I didn't really like it, but uh, as a whole, I thought the atmosphere and style of this track was uh, solid. I've got Forster and Jai Wolf with When I Fall Asleep, a light and reflective synth pop tune here. Uh, prime for late night driving and or kind of looking up at the stars on a clear night. Uh, it's a simple track that I thought uh, worked quite well. Then we got Dead Mouse featuring Rob Swire with Ghosts and Stuff, the Jaws remix, uh, a halftime drum step remix of the classic Ghosts and Stuff. Um, yeah, it's a solid remix with a lot of kind of wavy, wavy rises and falls, and uh, it's a different take on the original tune, and I actually, uh, I thought I enjoyed it. I like this a lot more than I think a lot of the other tracks have been lately from Jaws, personally. They've got Plux, Flux Pavilion and Pavon with Heavy Metal. Uh, I have always enjoyed Pavon's rap vocals, uh, particularly on The Warehouse with Muzz. Uh, but on this more minimalistic bass track, uh, I thought it worked together quite marvelously, the uh, the tone of his vocals and the tone of the backing production. Um, it's just a really solid kind of rap bass track fusion. And um, yeah, I thought it was solid cut. We've got Have and Typhon with Money Moves, a kind of Arabian tone track with some fun bassline patterns throughout here. Uh, pretty much a full flavor track with a first kind of drum step drop and then a dub step and then a DNB uh, style drop. So uh, I love the complexity and creativity of this track all throughout. Uh, and it is a double sided single with the heavy hitting DNB uh, click also being uh, part of this. So uh, yeah, although is it, it's cliche, not click. Wait, no, it's click. I'm crazy. Uh, <laughs> Up next, we've got uh, Skybreak and Dea with Astral Blossom. Uh, absolutely stellar dubstep track here. It's bright and airy with jazzy synth licks to it. Um, the second drop is punchy as hell. This is a collab that I feel like I have been anticipating for quite some time, and I just thought it was absolutely stellar. Uh, their two sounds work together quite marvelously. So, And our best track of the week, in my opinion, is a standout track. A uh, standout one for this week. Uh, it's Peekaboo and Grabbits with Going Insane. The Eyes Wide Open LP is out now from Peekaboo. And uh, man, what a team up this track is in particular. Uh, Grabbits is on just top-notch form with his vocals here. The production is a kind of jumpy fusion of a bunch of different genres for one really core, unique sound. And um, the melody line is repetitive, but in a really great way that it makes it a just constant earworm. And it's just, it's just there. It's, it's just like, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. And so, a uh, big fan of this track. But um, yeah, let me know what you think of any and all songs in the comments section below. But uh, other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.